Now we're going to look at the next type called and. Okay. So and is the strategy which we use in case, let's say we want to combine multiple attributes. So we can go for the and strategy. So let's see that in action right away. So we have Amazon of code in application already open. Let's say that we have this attribute called starting 149 headphones. And now there are two things here. We have text as well as we have the class. If you were to find out this using these two information, how you can find out. So first you can just take the one which you feel is the constant part, which you can rely on without it getting changed in future. Let's say I've taken this text here as a part of the class. So I'm going to say at the rate, so I can first say contains, which one? At the rate class, okay. I'm going to put that part and try to highlight it first. Try to get the confidence that it is getting highlighted. Then you can form the next part. Then you can go for and within the rectangular bracket and then go for the text part. What is the text now? Again, it's using contains because you want to check appliances for your home. So I'm going to say contains what? Text contains. Right? So appliances for your home. Because the other thing may vary up to 55 percentage of that discount percentage may go up or down right in future so we don't want to rely on that information so for now what i've done is i've just taken the two parts of the text which i can rely on which is the class value having truncate happen two line and the text having appliances for your home and now you can see using this and we are able to identify a unique match so this is how you can use this particular strategy and of course, I've spaced the example here. And you can see using this and, it is combining now two parts of it. One is the contains for class and the other is the contains for text, okay? Now the next one is or. So it again combines multiple attributes using or condition, see, or condition. This was combining using the and condition. So or means either of the two have to be true. So and means both have to be true. Both have to be true. Only then your element will get highlighted. Here, either of the conditions have to be true. So let's look at the or now. So now let's say I instead of and I make it or. You can see there are eight matches formed, not one match. So it is also going to check either the truncate hyper two line as a part of the class or it's going to check the text having appliances for your home. So this is the example for your or condition. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now we are going to look at another one, which is like multiple attributes. If you want to mention without using and and or also you can do that. How do you achieve it? A very simple one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the rectangular bracket like this. I'm going to put one more rectangular bracket and I'm going to simply combine it. No and no or required, but you still are able to mention both the conditions successfully. So like that, you can keep on mentioning your conditions just using uh, another rectangular bracket besides the first rectangular bracket, but ensure that all of them are applicable to the same tag. Okay. So this is how we will be able to achieve the multiple attributes for a particular node okay this is the first attribute and then this is the second attribute so that is it guys for mine and i hope this was useful and this will be really important for your automation uh, exercise be it you're trying to learn automation or in a current company which you're trying to contribute or if you're preparing for an interview this is going to definitely help you all to be confident and do it practically in front of the interviewer if they ask you to do so so wish you all the best and do subscribe to my channel if you're not done yet. Thank you so much, guys.